This is my craziest video ever. We're cooking a frozen solid turkey and it's not thawed. Hi, my name is Jason Selva and you may be wondering why I'm wearing this black belt. It's because I'm a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and over the past 20 months, barbecue has saved the life of my gym. It's how we kept our coaches paid through the pandemic. And with this being the holiday season, I wanted to show you what I learned, give back and teach you how to make the most awesome turkey for your family. So like I mentioned, all we're gonna do is get this turkey, toss it in the smoker. But why do I think that this worked? I mean, there's a lot of videos out there on YouTube and the reason I'm sharing this with you today is maybe you're not able with all the supply chain shortages going around, you might not be able to source a fresh turkey. And let's be honest, as guys that make the turkeys, we've probably lagged on thawing them many times. So what happens? We're up all night because we, we lag, getting the turkey thawed, stressing out the day of, the food's not ready on time and everyone's angry. But with this hack, that doesn't have to be you anymore. So why do I think that this works? Well, we think about it, the turkey's frozen solid. A lot of these turkeys that we have, they already come pre-brined, which means they're already pre-seasoned. So my hypothesis is that by just throwing some seasoning on, throwing it in the smoker on the best part, an overnight cook, you're able to sleep. And during that time, as the turkey thaws overnight, it slowly thaws and steams all the way up giving you juicy skin. So let's get started. All right guys, here's our frozen turkey. It doesn't get any more real than this. Like I said, all we have to do is season it. Now there's a couple things you need to watch out for. One is this plastic part here with the giblets. Through our cook, when it starts thawing, we'll go ahead and remove this and take some of the giblets out because there's a bag of that in there. Second part is your turkey may or may not come with one of these pop-up timers. Right now it's froze all the way through, so you will not be able to take that out. Right now, all we're gonna do is get our turkey, put it in a roasting pan, season it, and toss it in the smoker. So just like I said, all we gotta do is season it. You're gonna go ahead and take your favorite barbecue rub. You know I'm using the Bust You Up Barbecue Rub. Uh, this is kind of like a sweet style rub that I like using on pork, chicken, and ribs. And because it's frozen, there's only so much seasoning that we can apply. So we're just gonna go ahead, drizzle some seasoning on top like this, making sure that you get all sides Well, that's one advantage to having that little plastic hook on. It makes it easy to turn that turkey. So take your favorite rub. Gonna go ahead, toss it on, make sure you get the entire angle. You don't have to get too crazy because what's gonna happen is it thaws out. It's gonna start absorbing in there. Guys, once you taste this, I just don't see you going back to doing turkey maybe even another way. But uh, here we go. This is probably one of the craziest videos on YouTube for Thanksgiving. A lot of guys are teaching you how to brine and do all that stuff and that's fine and dandy. But realistically with supply chain shortage the way it is, this is probably gonna be good for a lot of you. And you may be asking yourself, what smoker do you need to use? I'm using my old hickory here in the back. My friend that I had to do this, he did on a Traeger. So it doesn't matter, just keep it low and slow. So it's about, 6 p.m. over here right now. I'm gonna go ahead, clock my smoker in at 200 degrees, 200, 225. I'm gonna come back in the morning and we're gonna check it out. Getting this thing set to 225. That smoke is rolling, it doesn't get any easier than this. I'm gonna put this bad boy in here, take a look at it in about 12 hours, 10 to 12 hours. All right, it's been 12 hours. Let's take a look at our turkey and see what we're working with here. So here you go, a beautiful, beautifully smoked turkey. And that's the result that you only get from smoking. Um, taking a look at this, you never would have known this was a frozen turkey. 
Now, before we do a temperature check and see where we're at, there's a couple things that you need to remember. So this was a frozen turkey. There was a lot of moisture. If I open this up, I had a pool of liquid that was right here. I just went ahead and I dumped it out. Um, next part is temperature check, and then we're going to glaze and make it look pretty on Instagram so you can flex on all your friends. So we want the temperature to be about 165 or so, depending on where you're at. You might get a little bit of carryover cooking. So here we are, 59, 60. Okay, we need about a few more minutes. I'm going to let it cook. It's going to come up to 165, and then we're going to glaze. All right, now we're getting ready to glaze. Now, the reason I like to include this part, if you want to, this turkey's ready to go. I could go ahead and throw some butter on there, throw it back in the smoker if you wanted a crispy skin. But let's be honest, we all love showing off. I remember when I first started cooking, I was frustrated because my barbecue tasted great, but it didn't look like those cool pictures that I saw on Instagram or those videos. And then I found out a couple secrets. A lot of it is in the glaze for the ribs. If you're saucy, you're going to sauce, you're going to tack it on, and then you're going to take it off. If you're cooking brisket, you're going to put a little bit of tallow, or I found out from a food photographer of mine, a lot of times they spray water just to give it a little bit of a shine. So normally I would glaze this, glaze this in the pit, but in the interest of giving you the best experience, we're going to go ahead and glaze it right here. So what I have here is my OG barbecue beatdown sauce. Um, it's, it has a strong vinegar flavor, so I know it's going to taste good. But you can use any sauce you want. If you're using a commercial sauce that's a little thick, you're going to want to go ahead and cut it down with a little bit of apple cider vinegar and some water, or you know, just apple cider vinegar. So let's go ahead and get started with this. So all we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and paint this, okay? Oh, guys, one more thing I totally forgot. And that's how you know we film these live and uncut. If your turkey came with one of these little thingamajiggers, you need to go ahead and pull that out. Also, these pla this plastic part, the little, little holder here, I was unable to get it out when it was frozen. So we're going to go ahead and take it off right now. Okay. Get a knife here real quickly. Go ahead and get that sucker out of here. And the final thing are the giblets. So you got the neck and uh, the bag of giblets. You're gonna go ahead and remove those out. It's a little bit harder to do during service. All right, and we are good to go. Now we can go ahead and get back to our saucing. All right, so like I said, I try to make this the most real video possible. It would have been easy just to have all this stuff pre-done, but I'm taking you through a whole cook. We've been together about 12, 14 hours, where for you on YouTube land, it's probably only been about seven minutes, but it's been well over 12 hours for me. So all we're doing is kind of painting it up Okay, and this is how you get it to look good. It's a nice little bit of sauce. If you see some spaces that need a little bit of color, cover it up with a little bit of sauce. Okay, doesn't take that much. You can color in the lines or out of the lines. It's totally up to you. So now that we finished saucing this up, all we're going to do next is put in the smoker for about 15 minutes. It's going to tack up. And you're going to have not only one of the best tasting, but best looking turkeys of your life. All right, it's been about 10, 15 minutes. Look at the results that we have here. A beautiful glazed turkey. It's going to get your friends jealous. Let's go ahead, give this a card. All right, our turkey's rested about 10 minutes. It's glazed, it's pretty, and now let's get ready for my favorite part. Let's get ready to eat. Now there's a couple ways that you can carve your turkey. You know, old school, they would kind of carve it at the side like that, but I really don't feel that's how you get the best slices. Um, what I like to do is I give this a little bit of a cut right here. Okay, we're gonna start separating this turkey out. So here it is, we have that leg. Look at the way that thing just 
falls apart. Oh yeah. Then after that, I'll do the same thing of this side. And then we're gonna go ahead and take our knife. Man, that juice won't stop running out. And come down the breast right here. And the reason I like to do this is I'm gonna be able to make slices this way. If I go down um, like this, I'm going against the grain. So, all right, let's go ahead and get the other side. So what you can do is like, there's this little bone right here. Just gonna find it and start giving it a little bit of a curve. You can also make it easier by separating that out right there. And your knife will just come all the way down. Doing this in my uniform is a little trickier than first anticipated, but there we go. Got our breast. Mm. So one reason I had to stop this video earlier is there was just too much juice. I mean, that's a good problem I have with a turkey, right? Usually you get those turkeys, they're dry, but this bone, everything just comes right off. No work needed. All right, now that our turkey is all carved up, let's go ahead and give it a slice. So the reason I did the breast like this is I like to make the slices down this way. You can tell there's a lot of juice in this turkey. We're able to still keep that skin preserved. Um, if you want, you can give some barbecue sauce on the side, dipping butter. And honestly, aside from just being a great tasting turkey, this is a pretty healthy turkey. We didn't do anything to it. So all you dads out there, or anybody wanting a last minute turkey, you got a busy life, you forgot to thaw, this Axeldonal recipe came out great. So that's a true test of the turkey. What does that white meat look like? And as you can tell, it's tender, juicy, Mmm, I'm tasty. There you have it. The last minute turkey course happens to all of us dads. If you're watching this video, click the link below. I have a free course where you can learn how to make your entire Thanksgiving feast. The ham, the turkey, the sides, and the fixings all in your smoker. Your wife will thank you for not making a mess inside the house. Um, give us a try, guys. Let's see how this works. This was an accidental recipe. Worked out great. That's how they discovered champagne. They left some grape juice there a little bit longer and they turned into champagne. We just created the champagne of frozen turkeys. Till next time.